the big story out of that game is not the surging Jacksonville Jaguars. It's not the Trevor Lawrence that everybody thought he'd be, a guy who's been groomed since he was like 12 years old to be a star quarterback who's playing really, really good football. He's got 15 touchdowns, one interception over his last handful of games. Played really well to get a road win. Uh, A lot of feel-good stories to come out of that game last night. Um, Well, and then there's the Jets. Uh, The Jets... And the most sensitive fan base on planet Earth, God forbid you say anything critical about the New York Jets and they're going to come after you and talk about uh, you and your career and your family and everything else that comes along with it. Just an awful performance for the Jets. Zach Wilson was not good. Zach Wilson uh, was being booed by the fans. It was just a disastrous display on standalone Amazon Prime for everybody to watch and understand there's a problem in New York with the Jets. The problem is at quarterback. So let's hear from the quarterback himself. Here was Zach Wilson talking with the media afterwards. Yeah, I mean, you have to look at it from a team perspective, right? We're, we're not doing anything offensively. And, you know, I'm trying to figure it out, we're trying to help get the guys going. I'm trying to, you know, get myself in a little bit of rhythm. And, and you know, we had nothing there. Is it tough hearing the boos? Yeah, it is, you know, but... <laughs> Don't blame them. We have we have a very passionate fan base, and they're here to watch us score touchdowns. And we're not scoring touchdowns. We're not we're not getting first downs. We're not moving the ball. We, you know, we obviously can't throw the ball. So, of course, they're going to be frustrated. When you see, you know, the offense stalling like it was, and then he goes in, and then it's not stalling. What is, it, is that hard for you to watch in any way? Or you know, why couldn't I get the offense? Yeah, it is. You know, and and that's why I got to look myself in the mirror. I got to go back and I got to watch this tape and just and, you know you got to you got to be hard. You got to be hard on yourself and just say you know. Why are we not moving the ball? And that starts with me. Why? What am I doing that I got to help this team be in a better position to move the ball? You know, whatever it is, it's got to got to figure it out. Now you hear that, and you say, "Well, you know what? At least Zach Wilson's being accountable." And that's all awesome, except nobody cares. Like the Jets fans don't care. His teammates probably don't care. Uh, even as head, like Robert Sala can say whatever he wants. He's talked about, you know, what, what the plan is at quarterback. Uh, we'll get to that on Monday. It doesn't matter because you already created the mess. You already set yourself up for this. So it doesn't matter. They didn't like the way Zach Wilson handled a post-game press conference earlier this year. Let's just call it what it is. Let, let's call this what it is. Zach Wilson got benched. Not only because of poor play, you can go, you can deal with the growing pains. It's because he didn't accept responsibility after a game and it pissed people off. He even said it himself. Even his dad called and said, why did you say that? What are you doing? Like, like, yes, you do feel like, you know, you should owe the defense an apology. The deep, like there's talent there. They've got, they've got players on defense. Like there's talent. They've got some talent on offense too. But the problem is he handled that poorly, and so Robert Sala gambled and said, I don't want to lose the locker room, and I feel like they're starting to turn. And part of the discussion was we got to make a move at quarterback because we feel like we've got a chance to be a playoff team, and we don't want to ruin that. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> like It's over. Like you, you created a mess, and you can't go back on it. And I was making the point earlier in the show – like there are certain in a relationship, and anybody listening to this right now, you know what I'm talking about. There's certain fights you can recover from, and certain fights you guys never get over. And you may get back together, and you may stay together for years afterwards. But there's always that one fight you never get over. They had a fight, and Zach Wilson and the Jets broke up, and they broke up when he was deactivated and told to go be third string and work with the practice squad. They didn't it wasn't one of these hey dude be a backup if we need you in case of emergency we'll go that direction but here stay with us stay in the game stay in the game flow stay in the game prep each and every week just watch from the sidelines we feel like that you'll be better served that way you can catch your breath and just kind of survey everything. They didn't do that. No 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 you're out. You're going to be third string. You're getting deactivated. And then you want to turn back to him a few weeks later because there's an injury and expect him to go out and perform well. And on top of that, expect him to go out and perform well in primetime television on a Thursday night in awful conditions. Like, I I don't, like, what were you expecting? 
This was a this was a formality. And it's like you can't just talk about the conditions and all the other things to go along with it. And I'm not saying Zach Wilson's career is done, but I'm saying his career in New York, for all intents and purposes, it's over. Like, this is one of those ones you never come back from. And there can be a lot of blame that goes around, but to me, when you took the drastic approach of, we're not just going to have a fight, we're going to separate, and you're going to be punished and we're going to deactivate you for a couple of weeks, and then you want to go back to the guy and say, all right, come back around. Like, everything that that happens post-issue that popped up a, a few weeks ago, none of it matters. Oh, he's accountable now. They still can't get over what he said the first time around. Oh, he, he bought all his offensive linemen uh, motor scooters. Cool. What about, like, what you said and how you behaved a few weeks ago? And it's like, look, I mean, the guy made a mistake. He wasn't as accountable as he needed to be. He hasn't played all that well. Like, whatever. But, like, you go, like, this is all, like, growing pains happen in the NFL. Like, look like look at other quarterbacks who have been, you know, a couple of years into their careers, and they've struggled or whatever. And you look at it and you go, all right, but, but at least, you know, there's some promise there. Look at Justin Fields and the Bears. The Bears are terrible. They've literally gutted the roster down to the studs and have said, all right, uh, don't get killed. And he's already been banged up this year. But because he handled things after losses better publicly than Zach Wilson did, hey, you know, we'll see how it works. You know, hey, we got something we can build around. He struggles at times, but at least, you know, we know that that's going to be the quarterback of the future. Like, that's why when, when everybody tried to talk about it just being the stuff on the field, no, it wasn't. It was the way he handled everything off the field. Like, why is Russell Wilson getting buried alive this this year by people that cover the NFL? Do you think it's because he's played poorly with Denver? Or do you think it's because he's played poorly, poorly with Denver and he's got his own office and he's doing TikTok and snap face videos and he's a little bit obnoxious and uh, people think he's a little bit fake. Like, there's all the other things that come along with it. Zach Wilson's play was an issue. But the way he handled a post-game presser was also a problem. And that's why the move was made. So once you make the move to deactivate the guy, anything that happens afterwards, you never get over that moment. I don't think guys in the locker room got over it. I don't think Robert Sala got over it. And I don't think Zach Wilson ever got a, got over it because I think he's come back and he's tried to play, but there's still the same problems. There's still the same issues. And unfortunately for him, he's not going to be given the grace of bad weather, poor conditions, blah, 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 blah. The book's already written. And now if he wants to pursue his NFL career and be successful, to me, it's got to be elsewhere, not with the Jets.